All right guys, Dave here with another exciting Unreal tutorial. Um, in this lesson, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to bring an object from one computer in Unreal to another one, okay? Without having to like relink all the textures and all of that stuff. So let's just get right to it. Um, I'm gonna pretend that this is um, Unreal on one computer and I'm actually gonna uh, uh, launch another game here, okay? So you can see that I have the Epic um, Marketplace here. I'm just gonna go ahead and launch it. And now this will be like having a new uh, clean scene that I'm going to put an asset into. And I'm going to just do this. I'm gonna go start here. I'm gonna go games, next. Um, and, and this time I'm not even gonna do any of these fancy stuff. I'm just gonna use blank template and click next. Okay. Now. One thing that I want to point your attention to is this here. This is going to be extremely important that you know where it's being saved and we'll see why in a second. So I can see that this is called Project 10 um, and this one's called the VR Test, okay? So, um, and if you wanted to change that, you could. Most likely by default, it's going to be saving into the C drive. Um, but if you click on this, it's going to show you, and if you don't see it all, you can click up here and it'll show you where it is. So mine's in the D drive, in the software folder, and Unreal. And then you can see here's a lot of them, and it's going to create a new one called Project 10. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it and hit Create Project. And now I can uh, get rid of this. And then I'm going to put that one over here. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of... Okay. So here's Project 10. And um, let me go ahead and just get rid of some of this stuff here. And here is a control panel, okay? This is uh, made by Lillian Diaz, one of my uh, students. And I'm just gonna kind of use this as an example. So, and I'm gonna do three different examples actually and kind of show what to do, what not to do, and um, all of that stuff. So here we have files, okay? We have a base color, emissive, normal, occlusion, metallic roughness, pack map, and an FBX file, okay, the geometry. So I'm gonna import that into this blank scene, and the goal is to then export it and bring it into another scene, okay? Uh, so let's say you're working with a team or something along those lines, and you wanna do that. So let's take a look at how we do this. Um, and let's say this is my computer that I'm working on locally. So what I'm gonna do, uh, let's say if I go to content here, um, and I'm gonna actually do it the wrong way first, okay? And um, so if I go here and create a new folder, and I'm gonna call this um, my asset, okay? And now, if I double click on this, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to add import, and I'm gonna go to import uh, the assets, and I should be able to find this, so if I go to, uh, let's see, control panel, here, here it is. So I, I should be able to bring this in. I like to usually bring in this first, just to make sure it's working, and then I'll bring these in. So I'll go to open, and now I'm going to say, um, make sure it says combine meshes, and um, if yours says skeletal mesh, um, and it's not like an animated mesh that just means you have a keyframe on it so you'd have to go back into your like my uh, blender whatever you're bringing it from and delete those keyframes um, but I'm just gonna go to combine mesh and um, I'll just leave it at that and hit import okay great so you can see that I have the control panel and I have um, a material that's not populated I'm gonna now go ahead and bring in um, the files here Okay, there they are, excellent. And I can see this asterisk, that just means that it's not being saved yet. Okay, nothing is saved yet. If I hit save, then that asterisk will go away. But I still need to kind of populate this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this material. And now I can see that by default, it just has this white thing plugged in. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that by hitting the delete key. And I can drag in base color. And now base color, I'm gonna connect RGB to base color. I'm gonna to go to emissive and I'm gonna plug RGB into emissive. I'm gonna bring in the normal map 
Um, I'm going to bring this in and I'm going to plug RGB into normal. Okay. My packed map actually has three maps in one, occlusion, roughness, and metallic. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that and I'm going to uncheck sRGB. So if you want to use the individual channels, make sure you ch uncheck sRGB and I'm going to click save. Now I can click back on my uh, tab up here and now I can bring this in. Now, by unchecking sRGB, what that allows me to do is use these individual channels. And basically what a pack map does is it kind of brings in the occlusion, roughness, and metallic. And I just know that uh, the R goes to ambient occlusion. I'm sorry, uh, occlusion, roughness, um, yeah, occlusion, roughness, and metallic. Okay, so this first one is ambient occlusion. This one is your roughness map, and this one's your metallic map. Now I can go ahead and hit save. Okay, and what that did is it, it correct, uh, you know, corrected the material here. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this on here, and I'm going to go ahead and scale it up. I just tapped the space bar a few times, scale it up so I can kind of see it. And now I'm getting pretty excited. I'm like, hey, this is looking right. I love it. This is awesome. Um, now I want to get this to this scene, okay? So now let's say you had a hundred things to import. I mean, this would be, um, you know, kind of a lot of time, like what I just did. You could physically import it one at a time and, and make the material connect everything, um, but I'm gonna show you a faster way to do it, okay? So once again, this is project 10. And now I'm gonna go find where this project is located. So if I go to my folder here, File Explorer, and remember in the beginning when I said look at where it's saving? So I, mine was in the D drive under Software, Unreal, and here it is, Project 10. Now, this is kind of everything about this project. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to be going back to this folder quite a bit, is I'm going to hold down Alt and then drag, and that's going to create a shortcut to uh, this location. Okay, this is basically where everything that's important about this scene is saved. Now, I'm going to also find where this important stuff on this scene is saved. Okay, so I just know that that's right here. Uh, that's the VR test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt and drag that over here. Okay, great. So, now I have um, everything here. And you'll notice that um, in my content, I have my assets. So if I open this up, content, there's my assets, and here is uh, starting to be the um, scene. If I open this up, I can see these check uh, these stars indicated indicate that it's not saved yet. Okay, so if I hit save current level over here, um, I'm just going to go go ahead and click save, and I should be able to. Um, these should be able to save, so let me see. I'll just hit save like this. And I can see that when I double click on it and hit save, the star goes away and it also goes into the folder here. So I'm just uh, assuring that everything gets saved. Okay, there it is. Now there's no more stars. I can see that everything is saved in here as a .u asset file, um, and that's good. Remember, that's all the important stuff on this folder, and I can see that it's over here under My Assets. Okay, now, if I go to Content, whoop, My Assets, and um, everything's here, one thing that I do wanna check is I wanna double click on this control panel, and I wanna double check that right here that this material slot, um, actually, it physically does have the material on. Okay, and um, I, it looks like it's called Checker 1 is the, is the name of the material. That's fine. I'll just leave it alone. And I'm just going to make sure I'm, I click Save there. Okay, good. So now let's try to transfer this to this scene. So what I'm going to do is if I go into uh, my assets, uh, here it is. And I guess uh, it, it doesn't really have a name here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is um, let's say I'm like, well, wait a minute, I'm gonna import a lot of things into my assets. So I might do this. I might go to new folder and call this 
control tower or control panel I guess that's what it's called okay excellent now I can move all of this stuff I'm gonna say move here okay great now I put it in control panel and now let's take a look at what happens here once again I'm in um, this is project 10 which is this one okay and I'm gonna go ahead and hit save current level again so I'm just gonna save it and now if I come here and if I go into content my assets now I can see that here's the control panel and then here they are okay now let's see what happens if we bring it into this scene and you might be saying well how do we bring it in well let's take a look so what I could do uh, you might be thinking well okay I'm gonna go here and just try to drag this in okay well that's not gonna work it's gonna give you a bunch of errors okay you can't do that then you might be thinking well wait a minute these are dot u asset files why don't I bring in these that's what we did over here well if you do that you're gonna have to build it from scratch again okay and that's what we're trying to avoid so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at where the files are saved on this one and remember we already found that so I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna go into the content okay and I'm gonna go here and I'm going to um, okay if I go back here here's control panel I'm gonna go ahead and drag control panel right here and let's see what happens okay here's control panel and now control panel did not exist a second ago okay I promise you go ahead and rewind the video and double check but control panel now exists right here that's because I dragged it from our scene to this scene okay now if I open up control panel here it is and if I click on this and drag this in okay uh, it might be something that well wait a minute it doesn't have the textures on okay and if I double click on the material ah we're getting a problem so the problem is is that all of our textures are not really there okay well you're just like wait a minute no they are here it's just not finding them okay so I'll explain why in a second but if if that if you came across that problem what you could do is this I could just select I know that this is base color it's right here and now I can click on this one and I can click on this arrow and it's gonna populate that then I can go to emissive and I can go to this one's emissive and then I can just click on this arrow uh, then here's normal then I can click here and then here's my pack map and that's right there and then I can go in here make sure that it has the right texture um, actually I, I think I can just drag and drop this and um, Oh, I, I think I actually do have to save this. I forgot to save it. Okay, and now we can see that it works. Okay, and I know what you're saying is, Dave, that's a lot of hassle. I've got better things to do with my time. I don't want to be wasting my time doing that. You can see that I can drag and drop, and now it's faster. Okay, I want it to come in perfectly right off the bat. Okay, well same here so let's take a look at why that didn't work okay the reason that that didn't work and I don't think this is necessarily obvious if you don't know this is that um, the control panel on this side is looking for everything in um, basically content my assets and then control panel and then here it is so in other words starting at content you can see that it's looking for all the files in content and then a folder called my asset and then control panel and notice it's missing that my asset folder okay so if I did this over here if I right-clicked and if I made a folder and if I called it my asset okay and then if I brought the control panel all of these files into my asset 
because that's the same directory here starting from content, then it should work. So let's take a look here. So if I go here, notice in my asset there's nothing. Um, and if I go into content, my asset, okay, um, control panel, uh, I should be seeing all of it. Let me see here. Um, I think when I moved it, it um, I accidentally moved it instead of copied it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and save this again. So if I go to save current, uh, let's see if that helped. Content, my asset. Hmm, okay, I still have it there. Um, let's see here. Um, okay, so a checker, yeah, that looks good. I'll just save, I'll go here, and uh, maybe I'll open this up to see if it's working. Okay, and I'll go here, double click, and then hit save, and let's see. There, okay, so now I'm kind of forcing it uh, all to save again. And there I can see it populating. Okay, great. Now they're all saved in here. And even though it doesn't look like it, realize that um, this control panel, uh, because I saved it under my asset, basically that is embedded, if you will, into the file structure. So now if I go over here and if I go to content, you can see that my asset folder is there because once again, I added it. And then if I go in here, and now if I bring in control panel, and, and this time maybe I'll just copy it so I don't have to um, do that again. So if I go over here and paste, now I can see that control panel is here, same as here, but I can see that the, um, the file structure is exactly the same, okay? Once again, starting at content, I can see content, my asset, control panel. Content, my asset, control panel, and they're the same. So now that means that if I go in over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these, um, and go into my asset, hey, there's control panel. And if I open it up, I can see that I don't even have to construct the material. And if I double click on this, I can see that there are no errors, okay? And then I, I should be able to drag this in here and then I can see that it automatically comes in with the materials, okay? So it's really important that you kind of think about how you're going to set this up because if you went to content and you're like, well, hey, this is a control panel, and if you made a folder called control panel here, then you would have to have a folder called control panel, and, and that's where it would, where it would live. But if you're going to be importing multiple things, make sure you have a folder that's kind of like my assets or whatever. And then you can kind of place control panel in here. Then you can place something else, something else, something else, something else. And you can keep adding that. And then you can just kind of drag and drop whatever you need to do. So hopefully that was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, and if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. All right, thanks a lot.